that the really interesting thing about Radical Hospitality is, mm -hmm. in that first season, we worried so much about lobby process and mm -hmm. how our guests might respond to the flow and what their experience would be going into the theater, um, that we learned some pretty unbelievable lessons. Mm -hmm. um, the most significant, I think, being that Radical Hospitality ended up being completely systemic for our organization. Mm -hmm. It um, changed the way we do business internally, reconstructed our staff, um, changed our working hours and the way we think about how we do outreach with our guests. Um, so we learned a great deal from them in that first season. Huh, that's fascinating. So you sort of started with this very like particular, let's create access by you know just having complimentary tickets, but then it sort of ended up transforming everything you do. It was always like a lens that helped you sort of reassess Absolutely. how you're doing business. Well, what we realized is yeah. our goal through offering Radical Hospitality was to say to the community, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, no matter what you're about, you're welcome here. We will welcome you with Radical Hospitality. So when you blast open the doors that wide, um, the people who come in may or may not be traditional theater goers. So people who are coming into the space were wonderful and generous and excited about being there, but we're also not always clear on the rules mm -hmm. of live theater. Um, so the questions that we asked ourselves every day as a staff were, okay, well if people are non-traditional theater goers and we welcome them with this kind of hospitality, then is it our responsibility to teach them the rules or is it our responsibility to meet them where they are? And the conclusion we came to is that it's our responsibility to meet them. So um, we learned a great deal about how to manage expectations, how to be flexible as a team, and say, well, if this is the way you experience the piece best, then we'll try to support you in that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are parameters that have to be drawn because you want to make sure that all of your guests have a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, but we learned a lot about what might just be tradition that we could just slough. Mm -hmm. Um, and what might be ways of thinking outside of the box about how our audience members can experience it. Interesting. Yeah, hearing you say that kind of reminds me of what I've heard about like the global theater, you know, like the experience of theater during like the times of Shakespeare. Yes. When it was a lot more, I mean, not really interactive, but it was pretty common for people to, you know, just interject things and it was Absolutely. very lively. <laughs> well, today, yeah. I mean, if somebody next to you shouts at an actor, you know, everybody goes, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's encouraged. I mean, it's something that's, some people use that as a way to really engage with a piece. And for mm -hmm. us, that's more important. If someone is, so deeply rooted in the mm -hmm. story being told on our stage that they respond mm -hmm. verbally or, mm -hmm. you know, um, that's great. That's yeah. good news. Um, and we try to communicate really clearly and generously with our audience members mm -hmm. before the show, um, in our correspondence with them leading up to it, and even as they're coming through the house to make sure that everyone understands this may be a different experience. Mm -hmm. um, what we learned too is that our artists also have to be looped in on it. Yeah. So yeah. we have an orientation mm -hmm. before every production. Um, on the first day of rehearsal, I go in and we talk about what it means that we have radical hospitality mm -hmm. at the theater. And we ask for their grace and their mm -hmm. generosity in the process. Um, it may not be a traditional process on stage for our actors. Mm -hmm. So we ask them to understand that they may see non-traditional behaviors mm -hmm. or responses. And to consider that just a broadening mm -hmm. of the experience yeah. of the house. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been great. Our, our artists are amazing. Yeah.